Hey everyone, this is Brian Drury of Overcoming Graduation here today to bring you a message about two of my favorite tips from a storytelling master. And this guy goes by the name of Andrew Stanton. Now Andrew Stanton, if you haven't heard his name, I guarantee you've heard of the company that he works with. It's a little company, you know, it's uh, called Pixar. Yeah, yeah, they're doing pretty well. Now, Andrew was one of the original writers for some of Pixar's biggest movies of all time, and he's been involved in some of their biggest, biggest successes. Andrew is an incredible storyteller, and as you can tell, and as is evidenced by the success of those movies, he is someone that takes storytelling to the next level. Just think about a movie like Wally. -E. He talks about Wally -E and that it's the purest form of storytelling because it has no words. That they tell one of the most amazing love stories that we've seen in our generation is between two robots with no words. So this is the power of effective storytelling. So as you can imagine, there's some amazing things you can learn from him. Andrew Stanton did a TED talk, and I'm talking an original TED talk, not a TEDx talk. And in his TED talk, he talked about some of the best storytelling secrets and the journey of Pixar, which I highly recommend you go listen to because it is fascinating. But today I'm gonna to share two of my favorite messages from that speech. Number one is make me care. Andrew says one of the greatest gifts we can give another human being is inspiring wonder within them. So when we inspire wonder in another human being, that's one of the greatest gifts we can give. And in order to do that, we have to make them care about the characters, the plot, and the story that we're telling. So whether it's a movie where we're watching it on a screen or someone giving a speech telling a story, you need to make me care. And how do we do that? It's by one, making the speech and the storytelling about the audience, not ourselves. And then two, by finding ways to learn about story so that you can connect to the audience and not just tell a story, but you tell a story in a way that it makes it feel like they're in it. It makes them lose themselves in the story. And then all of a sudden they imagine themselves as the main character and they get lost in it. Then you finish your speech and they come back like, oh wait, where was I? That's when you make somebody care. And another important thing to remember about making the audience care is a quote that I heard, I believe from Dean Graziosi. And he said, the audience doesn't care how much you know until they know how much you care. So once they feel you care, once you take the time to get to know them and you tell a story for them, then you're off to the races and you can take them on the most incredible adventures to get them the best possible results. Recommendation number two from Andrew Stanton is that the audience wants to work for their meal. They just don't want to know that they're doing it. He said they want two plus two, they don't want four. Think about a movie that's so predictable that you know exactly where it's going from the start, you immediately become disinterested. This is part of how our brain functions. If we think we know where things are going, we disengage. That's why things like an open loop are so powerful because we leave questions in people's mind that keep them engaged and keep them excited about the story. Andrew Stanton says it's the well-organized absence of information that draws us in. And when you think about any compelling movie or compelling story, there's some question unanswered. There's something that draws you in. There's something that the protagonist needs to try to do. And when you watch this, you insert yourself in the story because you wonder, can they do it? Is it possible? Can they overcome it? And in your own mind, you're going, could I overcome it? So these are two amazingly powerful things to remember in your storytelling so that you can improve your speeches, your blog posts, and remember to keep first things first. Keep your audience first. Keep connecting with them because in order to give them the solutions they want and the stories they want, you need to know what it is they need to hear. So that is all for today. Thank you for watching. Thanks for being a part of this. If you haven't already, be sure to subscribe to the channel and like, comment, you know, do all the social media things. I am not going to say smash the like button and smash the subscribe. I'm, I'm not there, guys. That, that ain't me. <laughs> so, but if you enjoy it, go ahead and give it a nice little click. You know, just a nice little subscribe click. And if you'd like help creating things, getting things done, being more productive, being accountable, and connecting with a like-minded group of people, I'd love for you to check out the Most Productive Hour Accountability Group. There's a link in the comments below, or you can type overcominggraduation.com slash MPH to visit the page yourself and see more about what the group is all about, why I created it, and why it's one of my favorite new things that's coming out of Overcoming Graduation to help people get incredible results in so much less time than most people are used to. So I hope to see you in there. I love you all. Thanks for watching. Thanks for being a part of this. I'll be talking to you again real soon.